What's up, everybody? It is your friend Keith here again at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England. I've got a really cool ESP to show you today. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Please click subscribe if you haven't joined the family already. Our numbers are growing every day. You can learn a lot about a lot of different rare guitars on this channel. And the videos are free, so click it. Head on over to our Facebook as well. It's Essex Recording Studios. That's E-S-S-E-X. And our Instagram, same name, guys. So, now, talking about the guitar we've got in front of us. This is an ESP Explorer. This is the, I guess you could say, post-lawsuit version with the ESP headstock, the sharp headstock, as opposed to the, what do they call it, the banana or the hockey stick headstock that Gibson uses, and a little bit more of a, a sharper pointed body. Frankly, I think this one looks more metal. It looks killer. It's kind of like a cross between an Explorer and a Jackson Kelly. And uh, if you like either, you're going to like this one. You've got Goto hardware, the bridge, stop tail piece, and tuners. A pair of EMG 81 pickups, very Metallica. That's uh, the classic Kirk Hammett combination there, dual 81s. Really nice rosewood fretboard with pearl dot inlays. Frets look great. This thing doesn't look like it's been played very much. I like the placement, too, of the uh, volume and tone knobs in the selector switch. It's nice and out of the way. You know, you're doing all your, your, your picking here. You're not going to run into any knobs up in this area, which you can see a lot of times on uh, some metal guitars. So that's, that's really nice, very ergonomic and thoughtful. And this guitar is very black. I wonder what it would look like with an ebony fretboard. That would be pretty sick, huh? Like an ebony fretboard, no inlays. I would dig that. Okay, gonna flip this around here, one-handed. Check out those skills. All right, and there are those Goto tuners we were talking about. Standard series, SS03, so this would be like a 2003. There's the Made in Japan sticker, so you know it's real. Let's go ahead and... Yeah. And then that little CE sticker that you usually... On the eclipses, you usually see them down here. You see like a garbage bin, garbage pail, rubbish bin type sticker, followed by that CE sticker. But, yeah, it's on the headstock on this model. Nice beveled edges. Again, very subtle. It's kind of what this guitar is. It's very sleek. Very sleek, very subtle, understated, very metal. I totally dig it. Would be a good candidate for like a custom airbrush job on it too. We've got a guy who's like the Mike Learn of the UK over here. His name's Mackie, based in Cambridge. And I'm going to be bringing him some guitars to get some custom artwork done. This might be one of them because I think it would look killer. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to sign off. This has been killer. This has been awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me this weekend. We've done a bunch of videos. And if you like what you see and you want to learn more and see more guitars up close in person, just subscribe to the channel. We've got videos almost every single day. Uh, before I do go, because the guitar is up for sale, I forgot to mention any blemishes on it. So there are some light uh, kind of scratches in the, the lacquer, the clear coat there. It's got a little bit of chipping on the, the point there. And no real buckle rash. This thing looks really good, actually. Haven't polished it or anything. I haven't even cleaned it. This is exactly how I got it. On the point, there is... Oh, oh do I want to get focused? Yeah, it looks like it's had a little bit of the old permanent marker trick right there. That's okay. And on the front, let me just see here. Um, this thing's really, really clean. Yeah, I don't really see anything to complain about, guys. This is awesome. You can tell it's been like a, a bedroom guitar. This thing hasn't been gigged or anything. Well, that is the guitar. I'll show you inside the case. And again, thanks for hanging out with me. It's a fitted 
ESP case. They're really great cases. There's some storage in there. Yeah. All right, everybody. We'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching.